And we're now getting a look at the evidence that put a hit and run driver away for life. That crash killed three students from Moore High School. Rachel Freeman, Euridia Martinez, and Colby Croft. Just a few days ago, Max Townsend was handed a life sentence. And now we're seeing and hearing evidence ultimately convicting him of the crime. News Force Jessica Bruno just back from the courthouse with the story. Now that Townsend has been formally sentenced, we were able to request all of the video evidence presented during the two week trial. And that includes dash camera and body camera footage from some of the first Moore police officers to arrive on scene that day, and phone calls Townsend made from the Cleveland County Detention Center weeks after the crash. I might have been behind the wheel, but it wasn't me. Max Townsend calling a friend from the Cleveland County Jail, talking about February 3rd, 2020, when he drove his truck through a group of Moore High School runners, traveling 77 miles per hour, killing Euridia Martinez, Rachel Freeman, and Colby Crum. I'm going through this, finding everything about the devil in the scriptures. Yeah. About Satan. And it's, and it's all kinds of scriptures in there where he's influenced people and, and gotten their prepared, all kinds of stuff. It wasn't me. Prosecutors played these phone calls for the jury during Townsend's two week trial back in June, pointing out that in each call, his story changes. I just got there jumping out of trees, you know, and <laughs> running out from behind cars, and I didn't know how to hate all those people. The state, saying Townsend was under the influence of alcohol and THC at the time, something Townsend has denied. I mean, you weren't on THC, right? I don't know. I took a drink of that Red Bull and it went down the wrong throat and I started coughing, spitting. Red Bull everywhere. And I rolled the window down to cough out the window and then that's when I went to La La Land. Was he in La La Land? Did the devil make him do it? Or was it because he was coughing? something prosecutors asked in court after playing those calls. They also showed the jury surveillance footage capturing Townsend's truck plowing through the neighborhood after the crash. And during his field sobriety test... Point your toe for me. Yep. It's all right, keep going. Uh, they're going to walk you back over to your car here, and then yeah, I... You said... Well, I mean, are you going to... I mean, right. Townsend was ultimately sentenced to life in prison last week. He'll serve three life sentences consecutively, one for each of the lives taken that day. In more, Jessica Bruno, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Jessica, thank you. Jessica spoke to mothers of the three kids who died right after sentencing last week. They say the life sentences is bringing them some relief, but all hope to see some remorse from Townsend. That never happened.